In this video, we will learn how we can understand the array indexing concept in NumPy. So, through array indexing, you can easily access array elements. We will see some examples also to understand the concept. Let us begin. So, array indexing basically includes accessing array elements. So, if you are creating zero dimensional, one dimensional, two or three dimensional arrays, you can easily perform indexing that is access the array elements. Like any other programming language, the zeroth index is element one, the first index is element two and the flow goes on in an array and the same applies here. You can access array elements using the index number. Let's say you want the first element go for the zero index. For the second element, you need to use the first index in this way the flow goes on. So in this lesson, we will cover all the major arrays like we will learn how to access elements from a 1D. 2D or a 3D array and an important concept how to access elements from the last with negative indexing. First we will begin with accessing elements from a 1D array. Herein we have two examples for accessing elements from a 1D array. First we will access the first element and then we will access the fourth element. For the first element you need to use the index 0. For let's say the fourth element you need to use the index 3. So let us first see these two examples. We have created a project on PyCharm. Right click new, create your first file, demo one. When I'll press enter, it will automatically add the .py extension because Python file is by default selected. Here is our first program. I'll create the second one also, demo two. Now we have our two programs. So here we will access the first element from a 1D array. For that to import NumPy. Create an alias also NP. Create a new array. So I have created an array object n is equal to numpy.array. Using the array method, we will create an array. Now print the array directly and to print the first element type n and the index number that's it 0. I told you for the first element we need only 0th index. Now I'll go to file, save all, right click and run demo 1. Here it is. We have printed our array and the first element we printed that is 10 using the first element that is index 0. Now let us see the second example. In the second example we will access the fourth element that is index it should be minus 1 that is index third. Let us import numpy again and let's say I'll take the same example and I need to access the fourth element that is 40 I need to access for that I will use index 3 in place of 0 mention 3 that's it file save all right click run demo 2 and here it is we have printed our array and we have printed the 40 that is the the fourth element 0 1 2 3 using the third index So guys, we saw how we can access elements from a one dimensional array using the first two examples. Now we will see how to access elements from a two dimensional array. So the concept is uh, different uh, obviously. Two dimensional array works like a matrix. So here it is. If you want to get the first element of the first dimension, use 0, 0. In the same way, if you want the, let's say we have a three by three matrix for the last element you need to use the following indexes 2 comma 2 that is row column that means row 3 column 3 this also works like an index to access elements that is minus 1 if you want the first element of the dimension 2 you need to mention you need to mention 1 0 that is second row and first column so let us see two examples to understand the concept 
so here is our third example right click python file demo3 let us also create the fourth example demo4 these two examples for a 2d array so let's see we will access uh, the first dimension elements from a 2d array for that uh, let me import numpy and i'll create a 2d array n is equal to numpy dot array here in n is our array object within add for the first row and uh, this is for the second row this creates a two dimensional array now i'll just print the first dimension elements first i'll print the array then i'll print the first dimension elements i told you in the example before 0 comma 0 will print the first element similarly goes for the other 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 okay now i'll go to file now i'll go to file save all right click run demo 3 so herein we have printed our matrix two rows and three columns that is two by three and we were printing the first dimensions that means we were printing the following okay for that what we used we used the following indexes 0 0 is the following 0 1 is the following 0 2 is the following it printed it so in this way guys we can print the first dimension elements from a 2d array now let us see the fourth example here and we will access the second dimension elements from a 2d array let me import numpy and I will take the example from here now print the second dimension elements that means 1 0 1 1 and 1 2 so this will print the second dimensions right click run now in the previous example we printed the following now we printed this that's it we used 1 0 that means this was 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 2 and we printed all three 4 8 12 okay so in this way guys we can walk around uh, a 2d array and access elements so guys we saw how we can access elements from a two dimensional array using the third and fourth example now let us see how how we can access elements from a three dimensional array using the fifth and sixth example let's see let me create fifth and sixth access elements from a 3d array this is our first example for the three dimensional array let me import numpy as np np is an alias for our library let me create a 3d array herein we printed our 3d array so 3d array 3d array consists of 2d array so the first 2d array is the following and the second one is the following for our 3d array print it now let me access some elements out of it using the index numbers 
so for the first element we printed the following for the second element we printed this and for the third we printed the following so what this will do always in a three dimensional array the first one is which two dimensional array you are accessing we are accessing the first one that is zero index 0 0 0 1 and 0 2 will get printed that means 5 10 15 you can relate this with two dimensional run demo 5 here and uh, you can see first we printed our three dimensional array here it is with two two dimensional arrays I told you and from the first one we printed the first we printed 5 10 15 here it is so in this way guys you can walk around let us see the second example here it is import numpy as np now take the same example so in the previous example we printed from here now we will print from here how for the the same syntax first we will add one here that's it and the same concept will work now from the following array because we have set one if we set 0 the first one will get accessed but we have set 1 so here and the row and column values are visible column 1 column 2 so row 0 column 0 that is following first then row 0 column 1 here it is row 0 column 2 here it is 45 so 35 40 45 will get printed file save all 35 40 45 run 35 40 45 got printed from our 3d array that is the following we printed the following now we have printed this so guys we saw how we can access elements from a 3d array now the last concept in which we will access elements from the last with negative indexing here and we will see two examples we will access the last element from a 1d array and we will then access the last element from a 2d array using the negative indexing concept let's see let me create two files here we will access the last element from a 1d array with negative indexing for that import numpy first and create a 1d array n is equal to numpy dot array that means n is our n is our array object and we are using the array method within that create your 1d array I'll add uh, let's say three elements in my 1d array and I'll print the last element using minus one that is negative indexing you can print here last element okay you can also print the value of array that's it file save all right click and run demo 7 here it is 5 10 15 was our array 1d array and we printed the last array using minus 1 15 okay now demo 8.py now let us see how we can access the last element from a 2d array with negative indexing import numpy as np then create a two dimensional array n is equal to numpy dot array that is np dot array now create your 2d array 135 and 4812 for our matrix that is 2d array that's it print now I'll print the last element how using n 0 comma minus 1 this will print the last element this will print the last element okay file save all right click run demo 8 let's see what is the result it printed the last element from the first row if you want to print the last element from the second row 
for that what you will do you will add one here because this was the first row and this is the second row let's see right click run demo it and here it is we printed the last element of the second row also that is 12th I told you the first row and the second row by this concept file save all and this will look good this looks fine so in this way guys we can access the element from an array using the negative indexing in this video we saw how we can easily work around the indexing concept in numpy we saw some examples also